Hey, I'm Caleb Logic from DIY Video Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna review the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 USB mixer, and I'm gonna walk through how I set it up for podcasting. The Focusrite 2i2 is a two input and two output USB mixer that plugs in via USB into your computer. I started using it about four months ago, and I'm pretty glad that I did. If you're using an XLR microphone or maybe an instrument like an electric guitar to record onto a computer, this is the perfect entry level pro amp to start with. It has two XLR inputs on the front, which you can manually control the gain of individually. And these gain controls also show the colors that correspond to the peak levels of your audio. Set it up, all you need to do is run your XLR microphone into port number one. Then you start to turn the gain up to around two or three o'clock. And I switch direct monitor to on. Then I plug in the headphones uh, using a one quarter to one eighth stereo headphone jack adapter, which you kind of need to buy separately. And this is so you can listen to yourself and monitor what you're recording. Lastly, I just plug in the USB cord into the back of the Scarlett and then plug that cord into the computer and you're pretty much ready to record. When you use this, you want the input and the output on your computer to both go through the focus right. So you can easily do this by just holding option and clicking the volume icon up in the icon bar. All of your computer sounds will now go through the focus right. And I actually just have it this way all the time because the little hiss sound you get when you have your headphones plugged into a laptop or a Mac doesn't happen when you have all your sound going through this focus right and that's just a minor little pet peeve of mine when I have my headphones on. Now you can't really monitor yourself unless you turn up the volume pretty high on this thing so when you're talking to someone on Skype and their volume's also high it's a little hard to hear yourself so this is just a little setting trick that I use to turn down Skype volume. You just have to go into your Skype settings, then to the audio video tab, and turn down the Skype volume. You can also do this by holding Option and Command and pressing the up and down arrow keys. Depending on what application you are recording into, you may have input one going into the left channel speaker and input two going into the right channel speaker. So make sure to check the application settings and the channel that you're on and make sure that you're setting it to dual mono so that you're not just recording into one speaker. Another cool feature is the 48 volt power that it can provide a microphone. I co-hosted a Google Hangout on air and just recorded a little interview over webcam when Pat Flynn was over at my place about a month or two ago. And we just used two lavalier microphones plugged into this, but the lavalier microphones needed power. So all I had to do was push the 48 volt power button. It immediately gave those microphones power versus uh, my Heil PR40, which doesn't need power, and I was able to use these just like I would uh, on a digital audio recorder. Another cool feature of this Scarlett 2i2 is the ability to plug in monitor speakers, which are zero latency. They're usually higher quality speakers, and so you can play back while you're recording, and it shouldn't pick up that little reverb effect that happens. The plugs on the back aren't your typical RCA outputs, though. They are one quarter inch, TRS jack outputs. So make sure the monitor speakers you buy have those specific inputs. Some monitor speakers that I recommend are either the M Audio Studio File AV40s or the KRK Rokits. That's it for this review of the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. I really like this thing. It's sleek, it's small, it looks good on the desk. I've traveled with it before and it makes my Heil PR40 sound pretty good. If you want links to this or any other things I mentioned, like the monitor speakers, you can find those all below the video. If you wanna check out any other gear that I recommend or any gear that I use to shoot this video, just go to DIYvideoguy.com slash gear. Cheers. Bye.